With an increased demand for COVID-19 testing, several community health organizations are coming together to open a new collection site. ABC6 News reporter Talia Milovitz has the details. A new drive through specimen collection site is coming to Graham Park soon. This will be the, the first testing site um, possibly in Minnesota. We're not aware of any others where we have multiple organizations coming together. Olmsted County Public Health, Olmsted Medical Center, and Mayo Clinic are working together to open the third collection site in Rochester. If you've seen some of the uh, throughput that's been happening at the Northwest site, there's been a lot of uh, activity and, and a lot of cars coming through there. And that's a, a Mayo Clinic only site. The one that's downtown is also a Mayo Clinic only site. Jensen says this site will be open to everyone. Mayo and and Olmsted Medical Center, and individuals that may not be covered by either of those organizations can come through this. Before patients can use the facility, they do have to go through a phone screening with their primary care provider to see if they meet criteria for the COVID-19 test. If approved, they'll be directed to one of the testing sites. We have a, a number of stations, um, and the initial stations uh, are to just make sure people are, are well enough to make it through the process, uh, to make sure that people are registered, and to support them through that. Then they'll drive to the next station. And we'll have nursing staff and other uh, medical professionals here that will actually do the testing, taking the swabs, and then beginning to do that process. The actual testing will be done through Mayo Clinic Medical Labs. While opening a site like this is not going to increase the number of tests that we're able to have available. It's not going to increase the, uh, the things that we're short on uh, around supplies, testing supplies, those kinds of things. But uh, making sure that um, everybody in the community, regardless of uh, where they go as their, to their medical provider, have access to these kind of tests will be really important as we, as we work forward and move forward on this. The site will be open this weekend, but they'll only be accepting about 10 people per day, Saturday and Sunday, to work out any adjustments that need to be made before officially opening it up to the public. In Rochester, Talia Milovitz, ABC 6 News.